This is the 4th of May, 2020. We're at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. We're going to give this press a try. It's got uh, a perforated screen on it. Uh, as compared to the uh, large wire screen. Optimal. And we're going to try running some uh, seaweed. Threader here, we're going to run it in angle threader, but that was left outdoors too long, so we're hunting for another threader. Uh, we ran a test here this morning of six inch press. So this is compost of citrus steel, and uh, we ran 500 pounds, no, 300 pounds of the stuff. Okay, we got a threader that'll work. We had another angle threader here. But um, it's been left out in the rain, didn't work. Bad motor. And we'll use this one, but the press is running. And um, there's a screw, screen, discharge cone. This air cylinder will push that in. And um, got it going fairly fast at uh, 20 RPM or so. So I'm going to try this a bit. Okay, we're going to give this a try. Just go ahead, drop it on in. And a little pin on the center of the screen. That's a uh, uh, Brian stripper. Two people cut their fingers off of those. Um, nothing going on here. Uh, Brian stripper pin there is working more or less. Trying to get some fresh liquor out. Yep, keep on going. Get some foam. Got a bucket to collect the fresh liquor. I've got the discharge open. I see some cake coming out. So I'm running over here. Close the discharge cone. The door's closed. Look at this. Oh, cake coming out. Cake coming out. I didn't expect that. Maybe I'll measure the time this way, just looking how long this video is and then shorten it down for you. Um, that's a good flow of liquid. And, uh, oh, stop it. <laughs> if you can stop it. Okay, we stopped. Okay, that was. Never expected this to work, so I wasn't really ready for it. Didn't, don't need the shredder. Uh, press liquor, two pounds. Press cake, four pounds. The press cake is all shredded. Okay, uh, here's my, in case I missed out on that. Uh, here in the bag. And that's my two pounds. This uh, material that came out of the press, it is shredded. So now we're going to run this all over again, higher air pressure, and uh, see what we can do in a double pressing. Okay, here goes double pressing, second pressing. Let's go ahead and drop it in. And uh, we've started the press again. This is what was there before. We increased the air pressure to 30 psi. Now this liquid is probably what was in the press when we just started this test a moment ago. We'll see if the liquid keeps coming out like this. Cake coming out beautifully uh, at uh, 30 psi.
feed the stuff out. You notice a much less fresh liquor than the last time. In other words, uh, double pressing is not dramatically uh, uh, more effective. Our fresh liquor flows little and cake coming out. and poke it. Never want to poke in that corner. That's the pinch point corner. So any other three of the three corners. Yeah, you poke in that corner, it'll cut your stick right off. I grab some of this. getting a drop of, okay, a little film of water right there. Um, this press has gotten out all I can get out. Now, maybe if we shredded it in one of these shredders over here, we could do even better. But um, that's what we've been able to do with this sample. Surprise! My uh, second pressing, I got... Uh, 1.8 of fresh liquor, 3.4 fresh cake. Uh, that was awfully good yield, comparable to the uh, 2.1 of liquid and, and 4.0 of cake on the first step. Six degrees brick, so we checked it. That salt and sugar combined. And uh, the fresh cake looks about the same. Oh, notice the difference in color. First pressing, second pressing. And um, I don't know what that means, but it, there's something there. Yeah, okay, here's a quickie tour. Press it out the drive. Press it ready to go. One on the side being walked out. A couple of presses are pretty far along here. 